my painting friends, I am Teresa Proka. I'd like to show you in this video a snippet of three Halloween projects that I have painted using Dynasty brushes. I'd like to show you the two brushes that I use to paint these Halloween paintings with. One is a wave brush and one's a Deerfoot stippler. The way that I used them was first, I primed it in water, then I just put the ends of the wave brush into the paint and loaded it. I only loaded the ends of it. it the way that it's shaped and the way it's, that, that it's made picks up the paint nicely. To lay in the background land, all I did was just tap, 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 gently, all the way across. Not in a straight line, but the way that the ground would grow. And then gently, I held the brush up, straight up, and just pulled up grasses. The way that the brush is made, it allows you to have nice, fine grasses. If you want them thicker, load your brush again, and load both sides of the brush. And then just on the edge, just pull them up a little bit more. There's a little more paint in the brush now. I shall also use this brush to tap in some bushes and trees. To do a pine tree, I just tapped it up to a nice point and then using the corner of the brush in a zigzag motion, like the letter Z, I tapped in a pine tree. And then using the Deerfoot stippler, Again, prime it in water. The way that it's shaped, I'm going to put paint just on the toe of the brush. Pick up some paint, tap, 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 and then just gently stipple the shape that you want for a tree or a bush. The brush does the whole job for you. Then you can use a highlighting color to create some highlights and some more shape on these bushes. Hi everybody, I'd like to show you how I use these Dynasty brushes to paint this lid to the box. This is the brush that I used. It's a wave brush. This is a number 12. I love working with it. First thing I did of course was prime my brush in some water tap it dry, pick up black paint. Now this brush is wide, it has nice little teeth to it so it holds the paint. What I did was just let the wave brush dance over the canvas. Just tap tap in my first color with my background color which is black. And I used the teeth of the brush to pull up some grasses. It does a fantastic job to do that. Even the trees, you can just tap them in. Use one of the wave brush teeth on it. Made some nice little limbs. Tap in some greens. Let the teeth do its job. It's like the brush just wants to do what it wants to do and it does a great job in doing trees, leaves, branches, tall grasses. Also, just let it dance over the canvas. Pick up the paint as you need it. The teeth will hold the paint for you. So you don't have to load it up all the time. At the same time, you can use gently pull up grasses. On this side, I did some also. Move some of the orange show through. The black will be your base coat. That will be your background color. Pick up the paint as you need it. I'm going to work with both the wave brush and the Deerfoot brush to add some highlights to my trees and grasses and bushes. I'm going to do a double load of a dark, dark green and a light green. On one side, I'm going to put the dark green. On the other side, I'm going to put the light green. All I've done is taken the brush and just tap, tap, tap the areas that I want to highlight. Don't lose all your darks when you do this. 
just tap tap in some nice grassy areas. Pick up the paint as you need it, a dark green and a light green, and tap in a nice highlight. Stay on the black part of the painting that you have already base coated black. I'm going to pick up just light green now on my brush to add a really definite highlight. Just tap in again on top of what you've done, the light green color. There is a generous amount of paint that I've added to each of these of the brushes. Here's a texture. Just let the wave brush dance over your painting. Does a nice job. Again, I'm going to pick up just yellow and I'm going to add that also to the areas that I add the light green. And I think I'm also going to pull up some nice grasses. And just tap in a little more yellow. Pull some grasses up. I'd like to show you how I use the Deerfoot brush to do my dry brushing with. I'm going to load my brush with yellow paint. When I do dry brushing, I load the brush with paint and then take most of it off on a paper towel. Now all I'm going to do is tap where I want my highlight. A little bit of pressure on the brush. Paint as you need it. Take most of it off on the towel. I only have a little bit of paint here on the tip of the brush. Just going to tap it in. The same thing is done when you do the dry brushing on the pumpkin. Load the brush with the yellow paint. Take most of it off. And then I just, again, tap, tap, tap where I want to put my highlight. The brush does a beautiful job for this. Just tap, tap in the color. I think I'll pick up a little bit to work on these pumpkins. I think I'm going to pick up a little bit of white now on a dirty brush. I'm not going to clean the yellow off the brush. Just pick up a little bit of white. Take it off. This will be my final highlight. Nice bright yellow. Pick up the paint as you need it. I'm working with a dirty brush. I'm not picking up any other color except white. I'll do this nice highlight on the pumpkin. Go back to do my trees. There. I hope you've enjoyed this video.